up guys i realized that i never filmed an intro or an outro to this video so i just wanted to hop on and say that this has been a really fun project for me i actually so this is supposed to be the guest bedroom in my house but when i moved home from college i really wanted like a new space so that i could feel excited and so my parents let me move into the guest bedroom for the time being and it has just been really nice to have like a new space to re-put my stuff in and it doesn't feel like I don't feel like I took a step like backwards by like moving back into my parents house like I feel like this is like a next step and like a new step and I think part of that's because like I do have this new space here I really love this room and it's been a really nice thing for me the past few weeks to like kind of get it all organized and the way that I want it to be and it's been fun to have like a little project to work on I recommend that you find little things that make you excited and if that means that you move your room around so you can feel refreshed and inspired I'm a big fan of that just ask my friends at school I'm constantly moving my room around um, but even if it's just like a small little art project or like just find little projects that are for yourself and that make you feel happy and I know that that's a tangent and has nothing to do with my room tour video but that's just what I personally really believe about this time and kind of how I've been staying sane and honestly I've been doing really really well and I'm feeling really inspired and I'm feeling really thankful and really happy right now and so I think that part of that's because I keep finding little things that I'm getting excited about and so that's my recommendation to you I really hope you enjoy this video I'm very excited to share it with you guys and I'll see you after I'm gonna start over here obviously we'll start with the bed this is the bed <laughs> duh I just got this bedding. It was on sale at Urban and I've always just had like a plain white comforter. I've never had any sort of colored bedding before and for some reason I've always been like kind of against it but I saw it and it was on sale and it was just like cute and fun and I decided I wanted to try it and it also matched my lamp like perfectly and like the color of the walls because the walls aren't white so I thought it like kind of tied some things together and I just thought it was really cute. And then above my bed, this is what was already in this room like before, is a marriage certificate of my like great grandparents or something. This room before I kind of redid it was, it had a bunch of like family stuff, so like old wedding pictures and like stuff from the wagon trains and stuff because my family came over on the wagon train, but this was just a cool marriage certificate and I like the vintage look like there's a lot of things in here that kind of have that vintage look and I was really into it so I left it I'm gonna go over here and then oh also all of this furniture I wish that I could tell you where it's from but my dad built it all then here we have my lamp obviously not too exciting and then I just keep my glasses my phone and then a um, cup holder what's this called a coaster and then down there I just have all my books and my journals for right now and then on this wall this is a handkerchief that was brought over on the wagon train so it's like a vintage like family like heirloom or whatever it's called look at the cat in the corner of this that looks so trippy and then here's a picture of me and my dad this was in my old room if you saw my last room tour I love this photo I just think it's so like cute and then here's the mirror obviously I'll show you guys this wall from the other side a little bit better but it's just like a big wood frame wall that I thrifted and then this is this was also in my old room it's a little thing that Brendan made me for my birthday and it's an inside joke it's about like it's a mixture between Pink Panther and then this other poem that I really like and so Brendan just kind of like I don't know how to explain that one. It's an inside joke. And then over here, these were both in the room when I moved in, or all three of these were in here when I moved in, and they're just more like vintage frame things. I just think they're so cool. Like the detail on them is so, if this will focus, hello. It's so unique and cool, and I just have not seen anything like this. And I really like like thrifted looks or like vibes so I really like this wall this is just so cute I have no idea where it's from but it has little flowers I've never been much of a flower person before but this room apparently has changed me and then here's the closet I'm not gonna like go through the closet at all just because that's um for a different day <laughs> Right here, I have my plant. I just went and rescued him from Eugene. I got very worried because I left without him, and I got worried he was going to die, but 
We just need to pluck a few leaves off and he's thriving. And then that's just full of like extra bedding and my towels and stuff. And so here's like a view of that side, how it's all laid out. And then, hi Oliver, you really are quite annoying. Like why do you need to be right there? Can you move so I can show them the ball? And then this is a picture that I took in Santa Cruz last summer and that I found this frame at a thrift store. So I framed that and then I just keep like my two candles. I love the urban candles. I just think they're really cute. Like I like the way they look. I really went for like a blue with like a little orange vibe in here. I think it's really cute. It's very unlike me if you know me. And then this is just some flowers that I dried in an old wine bottle because why not. And then this is a little... Oliver, what are you doing? Stop. These flowers are like shedding. Did you do that? Did you knock those over, Oliver? And then this is a little thing that I keep like extra earrings in. I'm missing the other one of these. But this is not focusing. But that's from my grandma's house and she passed away in December. So I like to have like a little something about her or like to remember her in here. And then obviously this is just a big window that looks out to the outside. It'll be nice once it's sunnier again, but Oregon's been pretty rainy the past few days. And then over here, this is another reason why I wanted to move into this room instead of going into my room, because downstairs I share a ba uh, bathroom with my sister, and so in here I have my own bathroom. Obviously a mirror, hello. And then I have this towel, this towel's from Target. And then I just have like a toothbrush holder, a cactus that if you know Kiara, Kiara's dad gave to me, and then the best lotion on the planet. If you know me, I'm obsessed with Glossier. It's literally like everything I have is from Glossier. It's just the best, you know? And then this is Bug. I got this cactus my freshman year of college with my mom. And for some reason, he's just become like very important in my life. So that's Bug, we love Bug. Bug's right here so I don't forget to take care of him because otherwise I forget. And then, this is another chest that my dad made, which is really cool. And then in here, I just keep like toothpaste, my lovely retainer, nail polish stuff in there. And then I keep my face masks and my extra skincare stuff in here and like headbands and stuff. And then over here, I don't know what the hell this painting is. I just was too scared to move it because I didn't want my mom to get mad. But it's sort of weird. But whatever, look, it's like a cute little vintage setup right here, so it looks fine. I have my watering can here so that I water all my plants, and then these are just like dried some things. I don't even know what they are, but I Kiara picked them up for me, actually, from a store, like a plant shop, when she was there buying plants, and she got them for me. And then this, I don't know what this jar is from. I think it's like an old, like I think it had juice in it or something. I'm not really sure, I can't remember. This is just a flower field photo that was already in here. I didn't really do anything to change the bathroom just because I didn't want to like mess with my mom's stuff. And I just like, like, I like all the color. I don't know, this is like a new thing for me. Here's the shower, just a super normal shower. I love this tile. I always tell my parents that when I have my own house, I'm going to use this tile for everything because I think it's beautiful. And then obviously I have my Glossier body wash because what else would I do? And yeah, shampoo, conditioner, that's about all. And then over here I just have my towels and my robe, so that's that. And then this little thing I got from the container store and I absolutely adore this. I want it to be in my laundry room when I'm older. But right now it works well in the bathroom just because there's not a ton of storage in here and I'm really trying to keep all my stuff in one place. So up here I just have my coconut oil and then my Vanity Planet face thing. Also the fan's going on in here because if you turn the light on the fan goes on. So I'm sorry if the sound is weird. But this is just my like electric face thing. This is my bamboo plant that died and my mom and I are currently trying to bring it back to life. And then here's all my like real skincare stuff. I'm not gonna like go through everything, but there's that. And then I just have like a few things that I might want to use right now, but I'm not wearing any makeup. So all my makeup's like, makeup is like packed up, but it's just like a few little things just in case. And then down here, this, I need to get more of the cotton rounds because I'm out. So that means I have to make a trip to the grocery store. It's scary. And then I just have all my like bomb.coms right here, lotion, and then this is like hair stuff. And then down here, toilet paper, which is a hot commodity, don't come rob me. 
my dry brush, extra towels, and then my care of vitamins. And then down at the bottom, I just have my straightener and my curling iron and my hairbrush. So, that is the bathroom. This mirror is so dirty. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm up to. Every day I post a lot of stories and such. So if you want to see what my quarantine looks like, follow me there. That will all be linked below. I love you guys. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help any people through this time right now because I know that it's scary and weird and I'm happy to talk to people if you just need someone to talk to or whatever. Also, you don't have to talk to me. Personal choice. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.